Uh, how, you been, uh, how was your day? I mean, you were, you know, you're in a good equipment today. You know, we know you, you know, racing in the Cup Series the past couple of years in the brickware cars, but you're, you were in a Gibbs uh, funded car today. So, uh, uh, how was that driving something like that? I mean, uh, competitive and having a solid run today. Yeah, it's always a privilege to go racing with Joe Gibbs Racing. They're the best organization that I've been privileged to be a part of, and I needed to make the most of today. It was my first day back in a stock car in a year, and. You know, I was rusty, to be honest. I was learning a lot. It probably took me at least half to two-thirds of the race to get where I needed to be. And, um, yeah, the team obviously gave me a good car. Uh, we made the most of the restarts, made a couple of mistakes here and there, to be expected. And, um, yeah, just got to thank our sponsors, Rich Mark, Cruise Associates, Hollinger Motorsports, Jinx Towing, everyone that made this possible. Is there any uh, future plans for you to come back and do more yeah, when I got out of the car, Joe said to me, let's go do this again. So, uh, yeah, yeah, obviously that's, that's what you want to hear and funding's always the challenge for everyone. So, yeah, we'll just see what happens. You mentioned you were rusty today. Are you satisfied with the fourth place finish? Yeah, I mean, I've got to be, you know. Look, the, the talent in the Xfinity field, I think, is the best that there's ever been. And the guys you know, that are finishing ahead of me are all going to be cup drivers next year. Um, obviously, Ty's proving to be like the Max Verstappen of NASCAR racing and Ormanding is the new Jeff Gordon and y you know what I mean? Like I needed to be realistic as much as you want to believe in yourself and all of that. These guys are the best of, in the sport and so to just finish behind them was about all that we could have hoped for and yeah, just really uh, over the moon for everyone and Again, grateful to Joe Gibbs Racing. What more did you need on those last few restarts? I just needed a couple more restarts. <laughs> also, like a lot more of international drivers coming into the sport, you know, a couple other ones coming into the as well. So, uh, you know, you being one of those guys, you know, what's it like, you know, seeing some guys from across uh, the world, you know, going into NASCAR for different disciplines? Yeah, I mean, back in 2016, I, I gave it a go in the 90 car and then came back the next year with Joe Gibbs Racing and kind of you know dominated at Road America and won the first stage and I think it opened up a lot of people's eyes that you can get establishment over here and there is opportunity over and above sports car and indie car racing or whatever there is in Europe and it's cool to see you know Sage, Marco, Kvyat, uh, God I forget all, all the guys Santino Ferrucci, I'm missing a bunch of them. It's, it's great for the sport and um, yeah just I love racing here. It's the best racing. It's the best show, motorsport show on the planet, and uh, it's just a privilege to be a part of it, especially with Joe Gibbs Racing. Did you kick uh, everybody's butt on the Chicago Street Course and I racing <laughs> last year or whenever that, I forgot when that was, but uh, are you, is there any uh, open seats for you next, uh, next year? Uh, I, I guess I need to chat to Justin <laughs> Marks, don't I? <laughs> yeah. What do you, obviously, I know you're kind of a little bit of a jest in terms of talking about Ty being for stopping, but again, for a 20 year old what do you see out of tie that stands out to you or impresses you to keep in, yeah. kind of even reference and i go i know it's not a serious comparison when you're yeah no nah, i mean it's i think a look when to succeed in this business you've got to have everything going for you and so you've got to be extremely talented you got to be intelligent you got to work hard and you got to have the opportunity and he has all of that and uh you know he deserves every bit of success we get along great. We met five years ago when I first drove for Joe Gibbs in the shop. He was 14. Him and Riley, they were in the shop together. And um, yeah, he's, he's just a great kid. And obviously the future of the sport. He's all, I was going to say future super, superstar. He already is, right? So um, There's been some talk of even more so about maybe potentially Kyle Larson doing an Indy 500 type yeah. of run. Um, what might be the challenges? What do you think of what he might be able to do with, with something like that, obviously? I, th I think um, a good comparison to make. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.